my name is Joe LeBay and thank you for viewing this video in the RatchetX video series. Today we're going to look at a very cool integration of two technologies, RatchetX of course, and the Captricity Data Capture Platform. Captricity's platform is the world's most accurate data capture solution for complex handwritten and typed forms, offering enterprises access to transactional and legacy data trapped on paper forms. They do it fast, securely, and 99.9% .9 accurately. For more on Captricity and how they actually do that thing they do, check them out at Captricity.com. In this demo, I'm going to show an end-to-end -end example of data being captured and extracted by Captricity and the results passed to RatchetX, where RatchetX then enters the data into Salesforce under the watchful eye of a data assistant, who today is me. Let's take a look. We start the process by creating in Captricity a template of the form we want to process. In this case, I'm working with a Matisox Supplies new account form. Once the template is created, customer service representatives in the field are then able to complete these forms either by hand or via computer and submit them to Captricity for processing and data extraction using that template. After the completed forms are processed, the extracted data is routed to a RatchetX data entry bot where it is then entered into Salesforce.com. The process is pretty simple. Let's walk through the details. First, I must upload a copy of the new account form to Captricity. This is the first step in creating the template for this job. Then I give the template a name. Next, I then mark up that image by creating zones which tell Captricity's machine learning and crowd-guided recognition engine where to find the specific information I want extracted. For each zone, I also supply hints to improve recognition. Hints such as, what is the data type? Is it text? Is it all numbers? Is it a date or a phone number? If so, what's the format? I can even give it special recognition instructions like, if the gender checkbox labeled male is checked, return the value man. The special instructions are a catch-all to do some pretty impressive transformations at recognition time. Once I've completed marking up the template, as you can see here, I click the Finish button to save the template. Once the template is saved, I'm ready to create a batch for processing. I start by importing completed forms sent in by our customer service reps. In this case, I'm uploading four completed forms, some handwritten, some typed. Once they're uploaded, I give the batch a name and select the template I want to use to process the batch. Finally, I submit the batch and it's queued for processing. Now recognition and extraction processing times will vary depending upon a number of factors, including the number of documents and the number of fields per document. In our small batch example, the results always come back within an hour and are always 100% accurate. Normally when a batch has been processed, I would receive a notification from Captricity letting me know the job is complete and the data is available for review and download. However, since I'm a RatchetX user, I can opt to have those results delivered directly into my application. In my case, new accounts get entered into my instance of Salesforce, and I want to monitor the entry of each record so I can verify everything looks good. However, I don't have to do that. If I feel comfortable having the results automatically entered in my account's application, I can have the results directed to a RatchetX data entry bot where the data can be automatically entered with only the exceptions being kicked out from my review. So let's take a look at the data entry process. Captricity has processed the job and sent the results to RatchetX. So now when I navigate in Salesforce to the new account screen, RatchetX detects there are records to be entered and renders the RatchetX magic button in the application's title bar. To initiate the data entry, I click the button. When I do, the first record's data is pasted into the appropriate fields, and I'm presented with a dialog that displays the following. The Captricity job name, the Captricity template used to process that job, the number of records left in the queue to be entered, and the name of the account which was just created. I also have the ability to see the original source document in case I see something suspect in the data. So in this case, when I click the Show Doc button, the original source document is displayed for my review. Since the Auto Import checkbox is checked, all I have to do to proceed to the next record is click the Save and New button in the Salesforce screen. 
When I do, the new account screen is displayed and RatchetX promptly enters the next form's data. From here, I just keep hitting the Save and New button until the import queue is cleared. And here are the newly entered results. Now this workflow is configured the way I want it to serve my requirements. However, nothing you see here is set in stone. Since RatchetX is an automation tool, it can be configured to work however you need it to work and push data into any application. So by combining Captricity and RatchetX, we're easily able to create integrations that get valuable transactional data from paper to core business applications in minutes and without the user having to rekey a stroke of data. Now that's pretty neat. If you're interested in learning more about RatchetX or Captricity, feel free to check out either solution at the links below. And as always, if you have any questions, give us a call or send us an email. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for your time and have a great day. Thank you.